my Central American Aquarium. We're gonna do an update on that. However, the video is on this aquarium. I hate to do this, but before we begin, I need to tell you something I keep forgetting. The big fish deal is coming back in just over three weeks. I'm going back for the third year to speak. It's in Maryland uh, from March 2nd to 4th. I'm just gonna leave a link in the description to for you guys to get more information and get your tickets and I'll see you there. My Central American Aquarium. We're gonna do an update on that. However, the videos on this aquarium have been extremely sporadic over the past few weeks. So let me bring you guys up to speed. So originally the plan was to set up a Central American Aquarium and we started off with the scaping. I added in some uh, medium sized grain sand I would refer to, very similar to pool filtration sand for example, used to use that all the time. We also added in a ton of round stones, some manzanita wood, and of course some plants. A couple of weeks later, which was four weeks ago, the fish arrived. Now we're getting into the big guys. Uh, these are all going to be for the Central American Aquarium. These are all going to be Vija or Vija or Viaha or however you want me to pronounce it. Now three weeks ago you seen that video and I floated the fish in the aquarium. Later on that day, I added them to the tank. Okay, so today we're adding the Vija to the Central American Aquarium. Uh, we have one that didn't make it. It's a Sinspillum. Dead for a while. Sorry, little guy. All right, so they're all in there now. Thanks, most are hiding under the rocks and whatnot. Uh, let's give them a little time to acclimate, get comfortable in their surroundings and aquarium. Then we'll come back and take a look at them. Over the past three weeks, a number of things have occurred in this aquarium, namely, one, they took forever to kind of settle in and start exploring the aquarium and swimming all over the place. They've also did a number on the plants, literally destroying them. Some of them were just eaten, others were ripped apart and torn apart, indicating to me that, well, plants and Vija, or at least plants and my Vija, aren't going to mix. That's not always the case, but it is the case right now. So like I said, this is a Central American Aquarium and the Vija are a cichlid. We have some Vija Hartwiggy, some Vija Argentia, and some Vija Sinspillo. I originally ordered six of each type and to be honest with you, I ordered six different species of Vija but only three showed up. Not all arrived alive. I did have a couple of losses. They were dead on arrivals, nothing I could do about that. So we te technically don't have uh, 18 fish in this tank right now. I believe it's 15. Now the thing about Vija is two things. One, they are a beautiful and stunning fish. What I really wanted to do is bring in a, a several species of Vija, not because I can cram them all into a 120 gallon aquarium, which we're gonna get into in a minute, but because I wanted to be able to showcase the multiple different varieties that the Vija has to offer. There is a downside to Vija. Not only are they beautiful and absolutely uh, incredibly interesting in terms of their personalities as well as their uh, behavior, but they get absolutely enormous. These guys typically obtain uh, lengths of 12 to 14 inches long and they become extremely girthy. Pretty tall and pretty wide as well. This is a very big and powerful fish. Clearly I can't keep all of them in this aquarium for life and I don't plan on it. But we'll cover that in a minute. They're all around four inches in length right now, which means uh, to get to their 12 to 14 inch size typically takes 18 to 24 months from birth. At around four inches, I have about, I don't know, maybe another year uh, before they get to their max potential or at least pushing that 12 inch mark they won't be in this tank long enough to get to that size. Because of their size over time, what I will have to do is start removing some of the decorations from removing a piece of wood once in a while, removing some of the rocks. Eventually, they will outgrow this tank and I'm going to move them somewhere else again. We'll cover that in a minute. I always get asked how much my fish cost, so I guess we can kind of go over some of their general costs or some costs that you can potentially expect at around this size of about four inches. A lot of the times with Vija, you can expect the prices to 
kind of max out at around six inches. Sometimes you'll be asked astronomical prices for a 12 inch fish. In my opinion, it's not really worth it unless you really want it. My opinion is to invest in four to six smaller sizes. So if you want to get all males or you just want to get one stunning one or a pair, your odds and selection are increased dramatically. The Hartwiggy is probably the most expensive in the tank, ranging from about 30 to $35 uh, for a fish of this size, being around four inches. Now the prices do not, uh, are not dependent on, you know, how pretty the fish is, because in my opinion, the Sinspillum is probably the most colorful. It has so many different colors, and if you're looking for a very big and very colorful fish, that's definitely the one to go for. However, it's always supply and demand. It's the rarest of the bunch in this aquarium. The Argentia is probably my favorite of the three species in this tank, and they're relatively affordable, being around $20, $25. And then of course, the Sinspillum being the cheapest, but it's the most prolific and most commonly available, maybe 15, 20 bucks. Now this is going to vary all over the world, of course. Uh, some people are gonna say, oh, I can get it way cheaper, and other people say it's way more. These are just costs that I have seen uh, most commonly. These guys are just eating a pelletized cichlid diet. Uh, the brand, I feed uh, three or four different brands. The brand doesn't matter. Uh, all I do is pay attention to the ingredients and if the fish respond to it. Um, they are eating all different sizes and all different shapes of these foods. So these guys are really simple and easy to keep. The downside to them, again, and I'll have to keep repeating this, is these guys get monstrous. They do get really big. They can be uh, really aggressive in terms of what you might see in discus or angelfish, for example. You might see a little pecking, a little lock, lip, lip locking. These guys are so big and powerful and they do have some teeth that they can truly do some damage if they want to, including you if you're not careful and if you don't respect them. That's why they keep talking about how big they are and they can't survive in this tank long term, which is fine. Uh, I think over time, as we start removing some of the decorations and some of the fish grow and we grow them out, eventually I'm going to move them all and we'll uh, put different types of Central American fish in here. I'm thinking maybe some Nicaraguans or, or something along those lines. I'm not sure, we'll see what happens, which Nicaraguans are beautiful fish. I used to breed them. If you've never heard of them, look into them. Stunning, uh, entertaining, and beautiful. And easy to keep, and cheap, and usually commonly available. I should have got those. So what happens if they get too big? And I guess it's not really a matter of what happens if they do, it's just a matter of what happens when they do. What am I gonna do with them? Well, we got the 2000 gallon aquarium um, with the Asian arowana and the freshwater stingrays. I'm not a huge fan of adding them in there just because of, um, there's, this tank's already stocked exactly how I want to, but it's always an option. And we might be thinking, aren't they too aggressive? They're not aggressive like the flower horn or, or other you know, super aggressive fish, but they're just capable of causing a lot of damage. With that said, I've seen Vija several times in aquariums with Asian arowana, as well as freshwater stingrays. And it's always, you know, most of the time been successful. We'll have to see over time and check the personality of the fish. They're not always going to be the same. But what I'm really leaning towards, and I think you guys know where I'm going with this, is we have a pretty massive aquarium. And in six to eight months or six or nine months, when these guys are ready to, you know, be moved out of that aquarium, potentially we move the rainbows out of this tank, or maybe we even keep them in because they're not going to eat them. The rainbows are going to be too big and too fast for these guys and we move them in, simply just rescape the tank. But that's a 500 gallon system, could easily handle all of those fish, which it, I don't know if they'll all make it to there. Um, you know, having so many smaller cichlids, you, it's, a, it's always a gamble, even with discus or angelfish or African cichlids, you never know what's going to happen long term. Are they gonna get along? Am I gonna get a bully? Is it gonna be all males? Will it be you know, enough ma males to female ratio? Will I get a breeding pair that absolutely destroys the rest of the aquarium? Who knows? Maybe just a pair of these Vija end up in there, but the bottom line is we have options. I will say though that you guys might remember when I mentioned that I ordered five or six different species of these Vija and only three showed up. I made sure that I canceled off the rest. I didn't realize how you know, big these guys were gonna come in. Usually when I order a four inch fish, they're like two and a half inches. Uh, they're usually not this big. Uh, I'm going to stick with these guys over time. Once we get to the 375, potentially we can explore some of the other species. But I just wanted to give the Vija in Central America some love in the hobby. And you know, a big question I often get is what's a big colorful fish? 
and a lot of the times we look to uh, Central Amer or South American fish or fish from other areas in Central America a lot of times is simply overlooked but there is a treasure trove of absolutely amazing fish coming from that area it being a pretty large tropical area so of course there's gonna be tons of fish uh, anyways I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I decided I would do it slightly different than the rest kind of covering all kinds of details this isn't a how to care for Vija uh, potentially in the future I'll do a how to care for all of the fish in my gallery uh, but for now I just kind of wanted to cover the basics and give you a more in-depth look into this aquarium as well as plans and thoughts on it uh, and I hope you like this format if you did let me know in the comment section below if you have any comments let me know as well uh, or questions of course and I guess I just kind of want to know did you know about Vija and if you didn't now that you do would you ever consider keeping one or do they just get too big